Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope that you're having a fabulous day and you're good to go for our video. If this is your first time here, my name is Chloe. I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights and I'm thrilled that you're joining me for our video. But can I ask, before we go into it any further, you click subscribe and you ring the bell. If makeup, beauty, everyday life, unboxings, if that's your kind of thing, then trust me, you're gonna wanna be subscribed. And ringing the bell means that my next video lands directly in your inbox as soon as it goes live. So so you won't miss a single upload. In today's video guys I'm going to be starting a little bit of a new thing, a new trend if you will, um, that I'm going to be doing on my channel and I'm going to be doing it like regularly. I don't know how many times a month, it could be like two videos a month, it could be like five, I don't know, it just kind of depends what I want to chat about because you guys know I love my unboxings, we've got advent calendar season coming up, but I'm also still wanting to do a lot of like everyday beauty bits and pieces, which sometimes gets pushed aside for all of the unboxings and stuff. So I'm gonna be starting something called 10 minute beauty time, which I thought was kind of cool because when I was thinking about what I like to do with my YouTube viewing, I like to watch YouTube before I go to bed. So it's like the last thing I do, I watch a video and I like it to be between like five and 10 minutes long, any longer than that. And I'm like, I wanna be asleep by then. So I was like, like, what can I do? Like, I feel like that's a good time slot. So I'm calling it 10 minute beauty time, but it'll probably be less than 10 minutes, but could be up to. So I'm hoping that this will be like a nice, easy video that can slot into your life. No matter what you're doing, you can, you know, watch it before bed like me in the bath, if you're having a cup of tea, whatever it may be. Still kind of like have your YouTube fix, come have your fix with me, um, but it's not gonna be too long. And I thought that, that was probably a really good time length. So let me know in the comments if you feel like that's a good time length, like five to 10 minutes long. We can chat about some beauty bits. And today for the first one, I'm gonna be talking about some of my favorite budget kind of friendly beauty finds recently. Um, I've got five products. I wanna talk through them all. I'm gonna explain why I think that they're great. And they are all super, super affordable, which makes it even better. So I thought it was a really good one to start on. So I hope you're ready. We will dive straight in. Okay, so the first beauty product that I have been using and using a lot of recently that I had to talk to you about was the Spectry Mist. Now, this is a little bit different. Two years ago, would you have thought that you could not leave your home without hand sanitizer? Now, I know that we all washed our hands and probably had a sanitizer hanging around or two, but now it's like you literally don't lose, like, leave your home without it. I have sanitizers on my desk. I have them in all of my handbags. I keep them in my kids' school bags, in my car. I literally sanitize my hands everywhere. As someone who wants to be as cautious as possible, especially you know with my children as well, I always made sure I had a sanitizer. And I kind of had this problem where I couldn't find one product that did everything I needed it to, or it was really sticky after each use, and that just wasn't for me either. But the Spectrum Mist is different. So this is basically a sanitizer that is used on skin, so it can be used on your hands, you can spray it on your hands, you can use it anywhere else. You can use it on the air around you, so you can refresh the air around you, and you can also use it on surfaces. So I use mine on my steering wheel, so when I'm in and out of the car, you can use it like when you go um, out for a coffee and you want to spritz the table or something like it literally does work on all of those areas to sanitize which is fantastic because you know if it's gentle enough to be able to be used on your skin but also on a surface you know that they've got a really good balance of properties in there that are going to protect you now this one works a little bit different because there's no alcohol in here which usually would make you go oh my gosh that means it doesn't work but actually there's a totally different basis to the way the spectrum mist works it's got a proprietary hocl formula which basically means it works with with the body's own natural immune system, making it 300 times more powerful than an alcohol type sanitizer, which to me is what hooked me. And I was like, I will have some of that. I wanna be as cautious as possible. Um, and as well as that, let me just show you, because it's not a gel and it sprays like a mist, it literally is so easy to use. And because it's a mist, it's fast absorbing. Um, it has no sticky residue. It dries really fast on all of those surfaces, not just like skin. And it's gentle enough that even sensitive skin can use it. So your children can use it as well. So it's dermatologically tested. There's no harsh chemicals in there. Um, it's suitable for all ages. It was literally, when I found out about this, I bought three. Now this is the um, 50 mil. So I bought three, one for me and one for each of my children. It's usually 8 99 If you use the code LADYRIGHTS at the checkout, you'll get 20% off. I will link below. You can get family packs and all sorts. You can get a massive size if you want to have it around your house or in your office. Um, two years ago, I didn't think I'd be using a sanitizing product as a beauty essential, but this is one of my must-haves. Like I said, we've got three at the moment and I'm going to keep buying them. I'm just going to stop buying all of my other sanitizing products because this does everything in one. So um, as well as the fact that it is super usable and totally 
totally relative right now to what's going on in the world. It's also under £10, like I said, £8.99 at full price and you get 20% off. So I was like, that is a totally good one for like budget friendly beauty and like a lifestyle essential. Okay, next up, and one that I'm really sad that I can't use right now um, or anymore since I got my hair extensions, I can't use this because I'm only using hair extension type hair products at the moment. But before that, I had been absolutely loving the new L'Oreal LV, the more than shampoo range. Now, they do have three varieties. The one that I was using the most was this one for coloured or highlighted hair, which is obviously me. But it's like the most rich shampoo. It like works like a mask, but you apply it like a shampoo. And my hair was loving it. It's not too heavy. And before I got onto like premium shampoos and conditioners, which as you, if you've watched my channel, you know that I love the premium brands. And I'm very, very cautious about what I put on my hair before my extensions because I've had some hair problems. Um, however, this, this range was the range I used re religiously, like the red L'Oreal one before I switched to the premium one. So I trusted it already. Um, Basically, it foams like a normal shampoo, it applies like a shampoo, you don't do anything different, but it nourishes like a mask. It's really intensely hydrating, your hair feels really shiny afterwards, and super soft. And they do obviously have the long damaged hair version and also the dry hair version, I haven't actually used those two, um, but this was my favorite. So if you're looking for something that's gonna nourish your hair and treat it like a bit of a hair pamper, and you don't wanna break the bank, you can pick these up for around five pounds. I don't know exactly how much they are, but they are around five pounds, so they're not gonna break the bank, and they're is something for each hair type which is fantastic okay next up another absolute beauty favorite right now you guys know I love me some fake lashes always about those fake lashes and Ardell have this range called naked lashes now I used to wear really thick glam ones and I still have them and I still love them but I've kind of toned it down a little bit I don't know why but mostly because, if I'm honest, it was to do with the band on my lashes. When you have the really thick glam lashes, which look amazing and I love them, they're always on a black band. And I just, I struggled sometimes with the placement and I just couldn't make it look um, as natural as I wanted it to. And then I found the Naked range from Ardell and they're on a clear band, which for me, right up, is a winner because you can put, even if you put them on slightly above your lash line, you can't tell because the band is clear, is an absolute amazing one. Like these are naked lashes that I'm wearing today. These are the 420s. I've got, I've got several packs of these and a couple of the other styles as well. They're all around five or six pounds so they don't break the bank and they just blend so naturally with your eyelashes. I don't know if I've ever spoken about how I apply my lashes before. I pop them on, um, I put the glue on the band like you do, pop them on, wait for them to dry, so I get my placement all sorted, wait for them to dry, and then I squeeze my lashes to the false lashes to just hold them in place. So if you're looking for a great lash that's gonna emphasize your natural lashes, but still look amped up, this is the range for you. Okay, and last but not least, another makeup one, which I'm really excited about. I've known about these for a while and I wanted to do like a whole video on them, but I just I just haven't had time. And then I was like, I'm gonna write a blog post. Again, I haven't had time. And then I was like, I'm gonna do an Instagram post and then I haven't had time. So I was like, this is the perfect time. These babies need their moment. Right, Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes, guys. Now these are, again, under five pounds, super affordable. I think I may have even picked a couple up myself for like three pounds in the sale once, which was crazy. Um, they are amazing for dupes. Now I'm gonna show you something disgusting and you're totally gonna to judge me and please don't, but you will anyway. Um, this is what my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette looks like. I'm not gonna show you too close because it's absolutely filthy because I use it and I love this palette. Um, this is my second one. I don't think there's anybody who takes eyeshadow seriously who doesn't have this palette. Now Wet n Wild have the perfect dupe for it. So this is the Rose in the Air palette which is less than five pounds. Now the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes cost like 45 pounds each. Can we talk about the color similarities? I'm gonna put them over here so you can see them both together. But look, the shades are identical. Obviously there's less of them in the wet and wild, but it's less than five pounds when this would set you back 45. Now I was like, Hmm, does that really work? Is that really a dupe? Now I can also, I haven't tried this one because I picked it up for this video, but I have got some of these Wet n Wild palettes, like I said, and the pigment is very good. It's very impressive. So it's not a poor quality product. So just because it's less doesn't mean it's gonna work really badly. So I can testify to the quality of them. But look, like you've got those two, the, the kind of like, crease and transitions, you've got the dark browns at the bottom and that orange tone, then you've got the, it's literally the perfect dupe. Let me know if you want to see like, maybe I could do a video where I do like one eye with the modern renaissance and one eye with the wet and wild, that would be really fun, let me know if you want to see that. And then just as another dupe, because they're, they don't, they're not just a one hit wonder, this is the Urban Decay Wild West palette, uh, they 
Also, Wild West do another one. So this is the Stop Playing Safe, which has got like a brighter blue. But again, can we talk about those matchy matchiness? An amazing dupe here. Like, see? Less than five pounds and you won't need to spend like 45 pounds on a premium palette. You are welcome. So guys, there we have it. That is 10 minute beauty time, which according to my camera has now been 18 minutes long and I definitely don't think I can edit it down to less than 10, but who knows? I could have just hit the under 10 mark. I won't know till I edit. Fingers crossed I actually make it. That was my, uh, that was my intention. But let me know what you think about all of my little picks and if you like the idea of 10 minute beauty time and if you like the products in here, everything will be linked below. Um, let me know if you see any favorites or if anything has taken your fancy. But other than that, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I will look forward to seeing you very soon for my next one. Bye.